guys so i'm back and hopefully the plan is you've just seen my monitor saying pregnant which was yesterday saturday at 11 dpo so quick update obviously i've not told aaron yet so it's sunday they've just gone off to a football presentation they'll be back later on today about four ish my boy's out with his mate my little girl has gone out with my mum shopping for the day and my little girl's watching peter rabbit downstairs with her lunch so i've just got like 10 minutes to hop on here because the plan is you've sort of had the update 10 dpo totally shocked and overwhelmed feel buzzing got my first bfp and it wasn't a squinter it wasn't one i needed to torch with i just did a pee in a cup about 7 a.m my temperature was still raised looked at it for about 30 seconds nothing was really happening control line was up made the bed or flicked a few cushions around and looked at the test and within one minute I could see a coloured line. I was totally, oh my God, oh my God, there's a line, straight away. There was concerns thinking it's an Amazon FR. Is this true? Is this happening? Is it a dream? What's happening? I had to pinch myself because obviously the FRs have given me lots of indent lines, lots of grey lines and lots of lines that have had candy pink stripes and then sadly, you know, I've had a, a very, very faint BFP for about two days and then it's gone light. Anyhow, looked at the FR within two minutes, it was really strong and pink. And it says read the results within three minutes. <clears throat> Got a bit of a sore throat today, so you have to bear with me. I think it was because I was in the rain for a whole tournament yesterday, standing up, and I did so much yesterday, I really shouldn't off because I wanted to sort of rest as much as I can. But yesterday, it was a nightmare. The kids were at a tournament in the rain, so I had to pick a pic pack a picnic. Uh, they played terrible, so Aaron was in a mood. I was going to tell him yesterday, but Aaron was not happy with our son's performance as well as the whole of the team, so it was very, very hostile in the van on the way back. When I got back, I had to do head lice treatment for all of the children because two of them had head lice. But obviously, as we know, when you get head lice, you've got to do the whole shebang. So that took me ages because then I had to strip all the beds wash it on high temperature, put the beds back on, still make dinner. I was absolutely pooped. So A, I couldn't get on here to do any more updates, but also I didn't even get time to surprise Aaron. And I was thinking maybe I could say, can you go to the printer? I'm printing out a postage label for eBay. And then when he gets there, it's a picture of the monitor saying pregnant. I thought that would be a nice way of doing it. My other friend, I've only told, obviously, I've told no family yet, not Aaron, nobody. My little four-year-old knows because I showed her the two lines in excitement. She hasn't told a soul. Um, yeah, so it's been I've been on cloud nine for like 48 hours, desperate to tell Aaron, but there's just not been a right time. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to paint a picture of it all being rosy with us all the time. Like I say, tensions were really crap yesterday. The weather was appalling for a picnic and a tournament. I got cold and ugh, it was horrible weather. They played rubbish, so it just wasn't the right time. So I will tell him either today, uh, not today, I think, I think tomorrow when things have just settled. Um, but anyway, let's let's hope things are progressing because I'm only 12 DPO. I don't come on really till Monday night, Tuesday, if I was to come on, but my temperature is still elevated. Measured my temperature again today. Again, at the end of this video, you will see my 10 DPO FR, my 11 DPO cheapies, my monitor saying pregnant. Hopefully, fingers crossed, some tests that I bought today. I should get dipping, shouldn't I, before I start chatting. I got, I succumbed to these because I just wanna see that my progression line has got a little bit more intense from 10 DPO, because your HCG doubles every 48 hours. It was quite a blazing 10 DPO, which is saying maybe that implantation dip, um, the dip on my graph was implantation on 7 DPO and I felt a bit chilly so that's why I got a nice blazing pink one on 10 DPO but as I was saying in my head I was thinking I hope this is real because I've had so many letdowns it is an FR I bought off of Amazon <sighs> lots of things was buzzing in my mind but it was so blazing it wasn't like a candy pink line I had to shine or it wasn't one that was sat there for 10-15 minutes it literally came up within a minute and then by three minutes it was really pink it's not a dye stealer or anything like that but it is good so I was really happy and then I went to about my day Friday, quite buzzy, but thinking, well, I've got a draw, I've got about five more cheapy strips and no more apart from a monitor stick. So yesterday morning I did 
a cheapy paper strip and I did the monitor each were positive so I was over the moon so you'll see that at the end I might even do a quick snapshot of my graph how it is today on 12 DPO so at the end you will see pictures of the tests in order and then I'll end with the graph I don't know that I'm going to keep taking my temperature I want to sort of keep my HCG levels going if I, I'm going to quickly dip this while I'm chatting and I've also got a cheapy I'm just going to see what it says I have got digital but I don't know whether to do the digital on morning we perhaps tomorrow morning or maybe the day my period's due so maybe Tuesday morning so I can get a good baseline but you know my temperature's still elevated it was 36.8 36.88 this morning so it's not gone down from the cover line so the cover line was like I think 30 36 so it stayed elevated which is great I've taken my progesterone this morning I had to take it a bit later I took it at 11 I still took it because they said if you go on to lunchtime don't take it because it's so strong you'll be too close but what I'm going to do is take the next one at like 11 tonight so there's a good 12 hour gap but yeah it's just meant to be 400 milligrams in a, a little um capsule up my vagina in the morning and then at night obviously both after showers and then pop a panty line on because you get really wet but like i say from a, this is just a 45 second response so it's going to be a five second dip i think it's five second dip i will double check my amazon ones were these and it said five second dip i'm sure this one's going to be exactly the same but i want to do it by the book yeah five seconds dip oh hang on no five seconds in your stream or a 20 second dip okay so i'm going for that one so it's a 20 second dip the ones i had wasn't results in 45 seconds there's so many different on the market the one i had was six days sooner this isn't a six day sooner balls should i still do this well, this might even be a faint line because the one I had left over in my drawer was from Amazon. It was a six day sooner. This isn't. This is a rapid results. So it's a 20 second dip. And it probably says use from the first day you'll miss period. I probably shouldn't do this. So I'm not really going to have a good comparison, actually. Never mind. You wanted a live test, didn't you? A lot. I mean, I was on the other one, but obviously you can see my face. Blank test. There's no indent line on these. 20 seconds dip. Let's do a dip. Well, this is afternoon we as well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I did 21 because I was chatting. Give it a little shake or the surplus. Don't worry, I've got some tissue down here. That's going across. I'll leave that there. That's a different, I didn't realise, I've just grabbed those two at 8.99 in boots and I've just realised it's a rapid. So with first response, you get six days sooner, you get rapid response answer in 45 seconds. I don't know what that's gonna say. I'm praying to God, it's not a chemical. This is the real deal. Fashti saw fire sign. She thought I was absolutely pregnant when I went for my reading. My reading was in July. Oh, it was end of June, I think, or beginning of July, and she said, I think you're pregnant now. In fact, I'm going to say you are. Everything's right. Your body's back to normal. You've had such a lot of ups and downs, and I can see it all sporadic here, but it is going to settle, and something's happening, or something's going to happen. So, and she said fire sign all the way through. If I'm pregnant now, it'll be due the 19th of April, which is fire sign, Aries. I know you lot say don't believe, but I do, and I'm positive. This is just a cheap, you get free for a pound i've got this is the only ones i've got left these have not been great normally with these you get a very very faint squinter the day your period's due i don't know what happened there i don't know what happened it cut out hopefully it won't happen again these are really no frills probably like the wand or the one step you get on amazon or in america i don't know anyway you get three for a quid in the pound shop i've done these i've had very very faint candy pink lines so they haven't been shadows they haven't been indents and they've not been like as late as 10 um as late as like 13 14 dpo i have had a very faint candy pink line since 10 dpo it got a little bit darker yesterday so i'm really pleased and i'm just dipping this now again this one's a little bit of a longer dip but this morning i did do one of these i've thrown it away 
I did take a photo, so again, you'll get a little pick of that. This morning with Morning Wee, that's all I had. I had literally three of these left, dipped one, and it's a very faint candy pink line. So nothing amazing. But what I am hoping is that I get a nice line on the rapid response, I get some sort of line on here, and we can go forth. I can phone the gynecologist on Monday, say, hey, I've had a BFP, I'm due my period tomorrow, but I've just got a BFP over the weekend, I've kept testing, it's there, I've taken my progesterone, can you scan me? It's a two week waiting list apparently. She did say as soon as you get a BFP ring, because she said, I wanna get you in with a scan within two weeks so that we can scan you six week gestation. Then we can see if there's something going on that looks good or something that's not great, either growing outside of where it should be or something that just doesn't look right because progesterone holds on to whatever's growing. So obviously I'd have to stop the progesterone if it's a negative news and not good news, I'll have to stop the progesterone and a six week pass would be a lot better than hanging on till my 12 week scan and getting bad news. And I don't even wanna think about that, but basically the gynecologist promised me if I get pregnant, she said, I'm sure you will within six months, let's hope. Well. It was seven months ago I got my progesterone in November after my chemical in October. So I can say to her, look, I've had a chemical since you spoke to me, but I am pregnant. So let's hope that's what happens. That's all going across nicely. The rapid response is done. And, oh my God, this is happening, guys. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Aaron, for letting me go for it even though I know you're not in a very happy mood with me and the kids at the moment because of football. <laughs> and thank you to you lot. Do you know what I'm going to do if this is everything's good? I am going to do a little vlog about my whole story. I'm going to open up to you guys. I'm going to let you know the proper journey I've had because there's been bits I've held back for personal preservation mainly, but there's a lot more to my story than I've let on. But I'm not going to divulge now, I'm going to see how I go, but maybe when I get to the 30 week stage of pregnancy, because I want to do updates, I want to give you updates every week. I want the next video to be another live test, but after we've got out the woods, touch wood, I want it to be my symptoms um, and how I feel. And I really want this to be great and shared with you guys because you've been amazing, but I want you to know my real struggles of this journey because as you know in September it'll be three years of infertility for me even though I'm blessed with five children it has been three years in September full of losses roller coasters emotional ups and downs but I've kept the faith with God and I've kept the faith with reflexology tarot cards and support from you and my besties like Joe, Kate, Rachel you know the ones that have known that I've been trying Katrina there's like a handful of my besties that know that I'm trying but I've tried to keep it secret because I just don't want too many people to know. I've already got people saying, oh, you little girl's at school soon. That'll be you next because Kate's pregnant and she's up to school and we're besties. They're like, oh, whenever she gets pregnant or you get pregnant and, and all of that pressure. I threw out an old Moses basket six months ago because it had gone dusty in the loft and I thought they're only cheap. And that was on the doorstep and it sparked such a lot of nosiness in the community. It was like, oh, you're obviously not having any more. I bet Aaron's please. We've seen your Moses basket. I'm like fuck off, you don't know my life. And then I've had some people saying, if you did have any more, you've only got a four bedroom house, where would you put them? You know, all the shit that I have to deal with, I'm gonna open up to you in a really good vlog soon. And also thank you to Nikita, she's been great on here. She's got a surrogate, she's going through um, surrogacy at the moment, her baby's due in October. There's Anna, who's just sadly had a miscarriage at like 12 weeks, which is awful, but she got me into temping. Abigail is on the journey with the monitor. She's had quite a few chemicals and losses, but she's going for it again for a new cycle. There's lots of you that have been on here. Maggie has been completely support to me. She's due our baby girl in December. There's lots of you, Paige, that's baby gender suede. Hang on a minute, darling. One minute. Uh, there's loads of you on here that have reached out. Gemma, loads of you that's reached out that have gender suede pink and thanked me no end. Amy, she's like amazing, I followed everything. There's Sophie who recommended me the COQ10 in the beginning, a year ago from Louisa Ziesman and Anna, and they got me on it. Then I recommended it to you, then Amy started taking it. It has been a circle of support and I cannot thank you. I'm so happy and touched. And it's been a tough journey and if this is it, I am gonna be so happy. I just am so grateful. Because I know Aaron was like, we'll try this month and next month and that's it. 
and the time's been ticking and I've been fragile, really fragile. And I know a lot of you, there's a couple of you who have said, look, you've got five, why don't you, you know, be grateful. I got a bit upset with those comments and there's been some of you who say, save your money on reflexology and tarot cards. I know the universe has a plan for us. I just have a positive mindset and if I can do it, any of you can do it. Please don't give up. I said to Anna, who's trying for her sick, who's just miscarried and had lots of losses, please, Get your body clean, get your body back to normal and go for it. Don't listen to people. If, if you genuinely want it and your husband's willing to try as well, go for it. You know, you've got to. This is really dark now. I'm really happy. I'm happy with that. I've got another one I'm going to do on Tuesday of that to see if it's a die stealer. I'm not going to do any more today. Um, that's afternoon we as well. Do you know what I mean? I, I peed... Ugh, that's a two hour hold after I've been naughty today I've had a caffeine drink I'm not like thinking oh I'm pregnant yeah see you later I'm doing away with all the goodness I just fancy a caffeine and I don't think one small cup a day hurts well I'm not going to go to one a day but I did really want a coffee today um COQ10 I'm knocking it back to just two at the moment but once my period has cut um the period dates pass I'm just going to knock it down to one COQ10 a day keep my DHA vital the little um capsules and my pregnant care up and I possibly will still take my iron tablet because I know I dip in iron a lot so I will just ditch the extra two COQ10 because if you imagine I was on 900 milligrams to get a really good quality egg I still want that to go just in case anything falters in this pregnancy just so I don't lose all the build up I've been on D3 vitamin as well in its purest form as a serum I don't think I'm going to do it because it's summer anyway and obviously that's for a good quality egg. I think I'm going to just do the D, vitamin D, maybe once a week now. And like I say, drop the COQ10 to just one a day as from Tuesday. So today and yesterday and the day before I just took two. Sophie told me that Louise's easement dropped it completely when she fell pregnant. Sophie ditched hers when she got to the due date of her period. I'm going to ditch mine completely once I have my scan and everything's great. And just stick to the pregnant care. But up until my period day, I'm going to take two. As from Tuesday, I'm just going to take one COQ10 and then once I've had my scan at the hospital with the gyno, if she hopefully, please God, says everything looks fine, I'm going to stop taking the COQ10 just so that I can concentrate on just the pregnant care and the squidgy capsules which will make my bones good, you know, and get natural sunshine and vitamins. That's what the plan is but I can update you more on that for advice and what I'm doing. This is good. Do you know what I mean? This morning it wasn't that dark. I did a pee this morning and I had one of these and it was candy pink. It was there. I said to Maggie online, it's there. I don't need a torch, but it's not great. And she said it still looks good for 12 TPO. Most people don't show on these till like 13, 14. So I've shown on these since 10. There is something going in my head. Is it twins? Because I've never shown this early and it's such a dill star, a dill, a die stealer. They are. But I'll take a photo of these. I'll take morning 12 DPO of the little cheapy I did and then you'll see these two at the end and then my graph for today, which will show you my temperatures. I might even tag another one on tomorrow because if I haven't told Aaron, I'm not uploading this. But today is Sunday. I really want to do this. I really do want to do this. I don't know if my video is going to cut out either. Do you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm excited. I've waited long enough. I've waited... You know, last time I was pregnant was the chemical in May, which was faint little candy pink lines from like 11 DPO and they were all gone by 13. Had two days of candy pink lines. I'm going to do one of these. I don't care. It hopefully will say pregnant. It's meant to say pregnant one to two, pregnant two to three, pregnant three plus. It won't say pregnant two plus. It won't because... I'm only 12 DPO. So if it did that, then I would be thinking. I'm going to have to read the instructions because I've not done a digital since my October chemical when I was crushed. So you dip for 20 seconds. Let's get going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Shake the surplus, shake, shake, shake. Right, it's ticking. Do you know what? I wasn't going to do this. And I even said to Maggie today, I've bought a couple of digitals, a couple of FRs. 
I'm going to wait till Tuesday morning to do the digital. And she said, good idea. But I'm so excited. I've waited so long. Every time I've waited, I've done testing since like 10, 11 DPO. It's been like, is there a line? Isn't there a line? Is it a shadow? Isn't it a shadow? Loads of indents, loads of grey lines. I'm shaking like a leaf. I'm emotional. I really wish Sharon knew. I really wish she did. Right, I've got one of those left for tomorrow. Um, no, so it's Sunday today. I'm not going to test tomorrow. I might do my last little cheapy tomorrow. I've got one left of them, just to make sure. Because if obviously I'd done that and there was nothing there, then I'd crack open the first response and panic. But I'm going to save those three. I've got a drawer here with all my baby stuff in. That's my baby drawer. I've always had complete faith. I buy nappies and nappy liners and all sorts and I always fill up my drawer but I've not bought anything since October last year because of the chemical as you know I got really carried away when I first fell pregnant within the first three months knowing that Vashti saw a miscarriage I still bought a pram because it was in the sale I've packed all that away and not looked at it but my baby drawer is still there and I cleaned it out about a month ago hoovered it put fresh drawer liners in but it's also the drawer I keep all my ovulation sticks in so I've got three oh look it's just come up so I'm definitely pregnant. That's a good sign. I just got to wait now and see what it says. So I think it'll say one to two. Reason being, I'm only 12 DPO. So I think implantation was five days ago. And you're always, aren't you? When you find out you're pregnant the day of your period, you're four weeks usually. But when you do these tests on the day of your period, they normally only say pregnant or one to two. So if it's one to two, the plan will be... <clears throat> I'm going to do the next digital half, uh, probably Friday, hoping it'll say two to three. That's I don't know yet, but the plan is I want to, in a week's time, see two to three, and in another week's time, three to four. Because this is where I got to last time. Tested on 14 DPO, had a real squinter of a shadow. It was darker on 15 DPO, did one of these, and it said one to two. It went two to three, and then it never got more than that. And sadly, I miscarried. That was way back in May last year. As you can see, all of my vlogs, if you're new to the channel, you will see my journey right from way back when. And it will show you that I, um, let's see if it comes up. But yeah, the last digital I did um, was before my miscarriage last year. And it said one to two, but I never got further on. So October, I got a one to two or a yes or something like that. <gasps> what? That can't be right. Two to three? How can that be? I'm worried now. That's brilliant. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong. But I'm not due my period till Tuesday. Unless I ovulated on day 13 and 14 according to my monitor and my temperature. Monitor first peak was 13. Temperature I ovulated on 14. How I felt. Ovulation pains through the roof on day 13. Like I couldn't sit down, couldn't lay down. Started at 4 p.m. 10 p.m. I was in agony. Having We were baby dancing and I was in agony. But I'm thinking two to three. I was expecting one to two. I was expecting two to three, like on Wednesday, Thursday. I hope nothing's wrong. I mean, I'm taking my progesterone, but I've only just started that on Friday. When I got, my, when I got the BFP on the Monday... Um, on the Friday, I took my progesterone. It was like 7 a.m. I took a progesterone and I took one that night. Whether that can make it higher. This is super, super strong, isn't it? I think last time it was 17 DPO. I got a two to three. I did all my pos I did my pregnancy tests on 13 DPO and they were like very candy pink, but I could see them with my little girl, my successful pregnancy. So 13 D. I did lots of testing from nine DPO. Blank, 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 blank. 13, uh, 13 DPO, very candy pink with afternoon wee, 14 DPO stronger, did a digital, it was one, um, did a digital on 17 DPO again, look back on BFP video 17 DPO, and it was a two to three reading. So what's going on? I'm 12 DPO. I just pray that I'm, everything's just going well and it's implanting and it's been there since 7 DPO and everything's surging in my body the right way it should be. The vitamins are there. It's a juicy egg. It's going really well. That's what I'm praying for. But I've never had an early reading like this. Do you know what? Yesterday I felt really icky in the day but I put it down to it being rainy and I felt a bit like croaky. But I've got no symptoms apart from lots of CM, 
very moody and emotional. Moody and emotional, lots of CM, and I felt a little bit sicky yesterday, but nothing like, not throwy up or anything. I just felt like I was hungry sick, that sort of sick, and I'd only had a cereal bar. So I got to football and I had some fruit salad, and I also had some rich tea biscuits, and I felt much better, something sweet and fast. Anyway, guys, that is the update for Sunday. 12 DPO, I'm pregnant. I'm over the frigging moon. That is worrying because it's afternoon pee and I'm only 12 DPO. I hope to God there's nothing super wrong with it and it's like a bad egg and it's like over multiplying inside me and there's something seriously wrong. I don't want to worry too much, but do you know what I mean? Could that mean that it's really bad? Something's happening that shouldn't be. Can you please, I know you're not going to get this video because I'm not telling Aaron until today, late today or tomorrow, but can you please let me know if you've had that at so early? Um, love you all. Thank you again for your support and I'll see you soon. I'll see you with an update on 13DPO. It will only be a little cheapy and it'll probably be tagged onto this, but I love you loads. Thanks.